Welcome to Kempi Spotlight, our virtual event series that invites you to an exclusive look of the magic behind the tools at Kempi, a global forerunner in arc welding products and solutions. Each Spotlight event dives deeper into a different theme, aiming to leave you inspired and ready to take your welding arc to new heights. Today's event is happening in English with English subtitles. A chat is also available and can be found on the right-hand side of your video screen. Please don't be shy to comment and ask questions because our experts will be more than happy to provide you with more information. Today we are taking a major step in the field of welding automation by bringing to market a new and intelligent product solution from Kempi. We will hear insights from the CEO of Kempi and talk with the other Kempi experts about Kempi's updated robotic welding portfolio and the features and benefits they provide to our customers. You will also have the opportunity to hear directly from our pilot customers how our new solutions are helping them in their businesses. But first, let's hear from Juha Mainio from ABB Robotics on how ABB sees the future of welding automation and what kind of trends and requirements should be taken into account. Juha, warm welcome to Kempi Spotlight. Thank you, it's my pleasure to be here. So good to have you here. But we go straight into the topic of today. Uh, could you start by telling um, and reflecting welding automation market development? How has mm. it been in the last few years? Um, I'd say the welding automation market is rapidly developing. We see a growing trend of automation of welding processes with the help of industrial and collaborative robots. Key drivers for the ongoing development are the lack of welders and cost of production. In, ad, in, ad, uh, in addition, increased automation can provide several solutions based on customers' needs. As we know, um, lack of skilled labor has been a topic in many, many industries. But what is the situation and how is that affecting the welding industry? Uh, that's a good question. Traditional blue color tasks are not seen as attractive as they were by the labor market in general. The welding industry is facing the same phenomenon. We believe that industry is changing. Companies are forced to automate to maintain their competitiveness and attractiveness. This change will affect also the manual labor of the welding industry. It will create new professional roles such as robot welding, operators and programmers, offline programmers, and combinations of all of these. And what are the steps um, in technology which you see welding automation has to take in, in coming years? A couple of steps comes to my mind. Uh, Robotics-based welding has proven itself and its benefits in the welding industry. Now the technology is developing towards increased intelligence and ease of use functions. So in brief, I'd say the technology will evolve to be even smarter and easier to use in the near future. The getting smarter also means production monitoring and analyzing the welding data. So the future will also be about storing the valuable data to the cloud services and using the, 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 that data for a better productivity and quality. And one thing I like to add is also the virtual tools uh, such as virtual reality and augmented reality, uh, which are gradually emerging to improve production processes. These technologies are already used in process and layout design and will most likely to be used in production planning in the future. Juha, Koborix uh, welding is a growing trend, but how do you see robotics and Koborix staying, are they staying in a separate lanes or maybe even merging somehow? Uh, this is a hot topic, I'd say. Mm. Uh, we see robots and cobots developing into separate lanes also in the future. 
But at the same time, we see a lot of potential in the merge of these technologies. Uh, for example, a cobot can function as a helping hand for a welding robot operator, especially in an assembly welding phase, before feeding the parts to the more automated FMS robot welding cell. In some cases, actually, these technologies can even have overlapping roles. For example, traditional industrial robots equipped with safety scanners can operate as cobots in FNSS welding robot cells. I have one more question. Um, interesting topic and important topic as well. What, it ne what is needed from the welding application suppliers and also from robot manufacturers and automation integrators to ensure highly productive cells and lines for the end customer? Mm. Yes, I believe that the know-how of our skilled professionals equals to our ability to adapt to different demands and needs of our end customers. Thus, ensuring the high level of competence of our professionals is crucial for all of us in the industry, since we all share a common goal, finding the best possible solution to our end customers. Uh, in my opinion, increasing our competence is best achieved by sharing knowledge and best practices openly in the network of all companies operating in the welding industry. Juha, thank you so much for your valuable input. Thank you. Thank you. This is such an interesting topic and I can't wait to hear more about Kempis' approach to welding automation. So let's welcome Kempis CEO Ville Vuori to the stage to tell us more about Kempis' vision for the welding automation. Good day, everybody. As you have mentioned, we see our customers' activity level increasing in robotized and cobotized welding. But what we see now also is that robots and cobots are increasingly applied in constructions and manufacturing processes uh, where the mass is on the weight more than it is on the volume. These new applications uh, require new innovations. So we have intensified our development and investment within the field, not only in R&D, but also in our service capability. Today, my colleagues will introduce you a couple of recent fruits of this development. I hope you enjoy the event. Whoa, the future looks bright like a welding arc. Now the time has come to reveal what we all have been waiting for. Kempi has once again raised the bar for high quality industrial welding. The AX MIG welder. AX is all about connection. It's about connecting systems fast and painless integration and easy setup about maximizing productivity from day one. It's about connectivity via the cloud and access to all essential data, about digital welding production management and industry 4.0 compatibility. It's about the connection between man and machine an intuitive mobile user interface and a fluid user experience. It's about total control of the arc. And obviously, most of all, it's all about connecting one piece of metal to another with perfect welds using the most advanced welding processes in the industry, time after time. Ensure repeatable high-quality welds with the Empy AX MIG Welder. Wow, that was really something. Kempi has brought many new products recently to the manual welding market and now for welding automation as well. AX product family for robotics welding and DCM field bus interface for manual welding machines for cobotics.
Next, we will learn more about the new offering. Warm welcome, Arturi and Pekka, uh, Kempis experts. How excited are you at the moment? Thank you, Barry. Really, really. Very excited <laughs> really. we are. It has been a long yeah. project, I, I've understood. Yes. yes, we have been in, uh, in this case for some years already. Mm. So now tired and happy? Totally. Tired but happy, I would say. <laughs> Both. <laughs> Both. Both. <laughs> Wonderful. But let's go into this deeper. Um, as said, Kempi has brought many, many products to the business. Um, talking about automation customers and manual welding customers, I assume there are some differences since the, the target is totally different. Can you, Pekka, somehow open this up for us? Yes, yeah, sure. Um, like ma in manual welding, equipment goes usually to end customer directly, the welders. And then in robotics and cobotics, uh, welding equipment goes first to integrator, who's assembling like uh, robot welding equipment and building the whole line. And then the line is delivered to end customer. So in automation, we must take robot manufacturers, integrators and end users all into account in our development process. Customer experience is basically some of these three. Mm. As you mentioned, uh, robot manufacturer, integrators and end customers. How d would you describe the benefits um, of the new AX product line for all these partners? Yeah, one thing what is uh, common, of course, with uh, manual welding and where we are known as good is longevity. Mm. Our products last long and they are durable. We have had uh, very intuitive user interfaces uh, some years already in, uh, in the manual side and uh, now we bring this same step also into automation offering. And I can state without doubt that uh, we have now introduced a user interface that is easy to use by engineers but also operators and welders. Then ease of integration, that is very important for uh, integrators, but it doesn't really uh, interest uh, welders who are manually welding. So that's also a different angle what we need to take into account here in, in automation offering. And <coughs> integrators, they want to have predictable projects. Mm -hmm so that timelines and cost are in the budget. And uh, it means that um, we need to be really easy to integrate. And we had uh, in our development process like a kind of goal that uh, one bolt on the floor and one connect to the robot. And uh, I'm not 100% sure are we quite there yet, but we are getting very close. Wonderful. Is there anything you would like to add? Yeah, of course. As far as customer, end customer are concerned, they, they have only one goal, just welding one piece with one other mm. piece together. So that's the main thing in welding. And uh, that's, they have to do that in the best way with quality and speed. So whatever they are building, ship, cruise ships or uh, other machines and machinery and new energy, wind towers, or whatever. Arturi, could you open up a little bit the most productive arc, as you what you mentioned, what does it mean in practice then? Yes, most productive, uh, yeah, that means uh, the fast, high quality welds, minimizing the post-processing, because always if you, the quality is not good, you have to, do something before weld and after mm -hmm. after weld also, and mm -hmm. that takes time. So that's the key point here when creating the most productive, high quality uh, welding process with with Kempi machines. And we have also used endless hours uh, to develop our processes, and of course we are developing all the time more and listening customers in that bit. Mm -hmm. Arturi, user interface means often knobs and buttons uh, in the welding equipment. But what does it mean in the AX product line? 
Yes, that's a very good question. Um, in AX product line, uh, we, will, we will have a little bit different way of looking at this same thing. So we, we have a kind of web-based user interface can be used any device which including the web browser. So that's a kind of new way of looking and very, very, use, very useful in robotic welding. Mm -hmm. So you have a wireless uh, user interface, you can walk around the welding cell and for example, and that kind of things. And of course, uh, because using this kind of technology, you can, customer can use that also from the robot pendant itself if that supports the HTML5 technology. Mm. Could you give us any examples? Uh, yes, of course, there is, uh, when using this kind of technology, you can build very intuitive user, user interfaces. Uh, uh, for example, Weld Assist, we have been many years in manual welding site already, but now we have that also in robotic. And then we can use that more productive way and giving also the weld speed, for example, automatically to the robot and helping also in a robot welding, that same, same uh, weld assist feature. Mm. So you have spent a lot of hours, but they have been worth it because this sounds really amazing. Yes, that, that's true. Mm. Many, many, many hours. Many, many <laughs> hours, very many hours. But is there, gentlemen, anything else you would like to highlight on this new offering? Yes, the one other thing which is new this time is that we have modular system. Uh, we have a power source that's coming from the uh, our current offering. And then we have oil feeder, but we have developed it for the robotic use. Mm -hmm. And then we have uh, our robot connectivity module with connecting all these pieces together. And that's for the robotic welding. And also we have TCM module and we have developed uh, connectivity to the cobot welding. So we can also uh, connect the, our welding machine, manual welding machine to the cobot. And that's the other nice story also. Anything, Pekka? And um, like Arturi is uh, describing these pieces uh, of uh, modular uh, offering, and I think it's safe to say that uh, we have all pieces in place now. Like we have proactive arc. Uh, AX is very easy to integrate and very logical to use. And um, the power source has already been there for some years uh, from manual side and it has been used and it's, it's very reliable. And uh, I'm sure that uh, now we have product line uh, which uh, offers our sales network and partners something that is very safe to sell. Wonderful. And one last question, uh, but really important question is that when can we get our hands on this, uh, on this and when, when can we buy it? Soon. Soon. Very soon. <laughs> yeah. May. Okay, May soon is the May. Short is it already May? <laughs> it is May. Okay. So it's pretty soon. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wonderful. This was extremely eye-opening. Mm. Thank you so much, gentlemen, Thank Arturi you. and Pekka. Thank you. Thank you. And now let's hear some interesting customers' insights from a robotic integrator's point of view and hear experiences from an end customer. Warm well, welcome, Aku Laakso from Jaskava. You are representing inter integrators' point of view today. Thank you. How are you doing? I'm doing fine, thank you. Wonderful. Um, and you have a long history in welding automation and know companies and products, of, of course, extremely well. Can you elaborate a little bit from your perspective on what kind of expectation there has been in the market about the new Kempi offering? Well, I think there's always a quite good, big interest towards the new power sources in the welding automation market. Uh, this is uh, mainly because 
welding power source uh, matters so much when we are talking about the whole productivity of the whole welding automation system. That's because uh, welding power source dictates much about uh, how fast we can weld, with what kind of splatter control, and what, with, with what kind of quality we can weld. So I think those are all very interesting points for the end customers. Mm. And you are also representing uh, Jaskava robot manufacturer. And Jaskava has been part of the AX development. Could you tell me something about the cooperation with Kempi? Well, first of all, we have had a long and good relationship with Kempi. We have had many years for now the Kempi power source in our facilities for testing purposes. And also Kempi has had our robot here in Lahti to do some development stuff. Uh, sometimes power source development need more cooperation and sometimes less. But in this case, when we were de developing or took part quite much to developing this TAST signal, which we use to, to do the scene tracking. So we take a scene tracking signal from the power source and guide the robot through the seams and make welding quality better that way. So this time we, we were part of the development more than usual. And you are one of the integrators having experience with the new AX family from the LAMET case as well. Um, what was the key to success on that project? Well, I, was, I talk, talked with the crew who did the integration from Jaskava side and also with the end customer. And both of them agreed that it was very fast and easy the integration. I think our, our crew all, already said that it was probably the easiest and fastest integration of the new power source ever. So that's a good sign. But I think it was uh, some, that had something to do with that, that we replaced an old Kempi power source with a new one. So we could use some cables from the old, old power source and also the ladder program took only minor changes to get to work. But the end customer also said that they could weld right away after the integration and uh, welding quality was good, parameters were found very easily. So I think it was a successful integration. And Kemp is also well known for its innovative user interfaces on in manual welding machines. Uh, now AX has new generation user, user interface as well. Um, how do you see this solution from the integrator's point of view? Well, I think it's a good addition for us integrators, uh, mainly because sometimes when we build up bigger systems, for example, big portal, portal gantries, the power source can be in, be in a little bit tricky place, for example, up, up high somewhere that we cannot reach from the floor level. And in those cases, it's very beneficial for us to be able to make a connection between, between the power source uh, and, and the mobile phone or, or laptop and make a parameter adjustments and setups from the, flo from the floor level. So we don't need to climb up high anymore and, and reach the power source. So I think it's all in all, very good addition for us integrators and we just have to see how the end customers like it. Aku, is there anything else you would like to add on this, uh, this uh, pilot case or project? Well, I was talking with our crew, of course, and they said that especially the after sales team wanted to, wanted to let you know that they are very happy about the addition that the power source updates software updates and synergic line updates can be done via standard USB now. We don't need the Kempi special data gun anymore. And that's, that makes our service and uh, also updates to the whole system easier and faster. So they are happy about that. Easy life, happy life. Yeah, so to say, yes. <laughs> <That's how it laughs> I agree. <goes. laughs> Thank you so much, Aku. And Thank next, you. some words from Antti Leino and Kalle Laine from Leimet about their experiences on robotic welding and the AX MIG welder. Mä oon Antti Leino, Leimetoin toimitusjohtaja. Meillä on perheyhtiö. 
Leino Metalli sanoista tulee yhtiön perustettu 1964. Ja liikevaihto on 15 miljoonaa euroa, työllistetään 40 henkeä. Eli meillä on Leimetoyssä 40 henkeä töissä, toimistossa kymmenkunta, tuotannossa noin 30. Sitten meillä on robotteja 670 kappaletta tuotannossa. Me käytetään vuodessa noin 9000 tonnia eli 9 miljoonaa kiloa terästä. Eli melko huomattava määrä. Leimetoyn päätuotteita on betonipaalun kalliokärjet ja jatkokset. Ja näistä tuotteista 80-85 prosenttia menee vientiin. Kauimmat kohteet, mihin me on viety, on Australia ja Meksiko. Eli ihan maailmanlaajuisesti toimitaan. No, meidän tuotteet, yrityksen tuotteet menee tosiaankin maan alle ja ne on tosi tärkeä osa sitä paalutuksen laatuketjua. Ja kun paljon hitsataan, niin se hitsauksen laatu on ihan niin kuin avainasemassa. Eli jos joku menee pieleen, niin siitä voi tulla aikatauluviiveitä, isoja, siellä on isot sakkopykälät asiakkaalle, jos hommat viivästyvät. Tämä niin tuotevastuukysymys voi olla todella isoja ja kalliita. Joo, Leimetin markkinatilanteesta voisi todeta, että me eletään niin kuin alalla, joka menee suhdanteiden mukaan ylös ja alas. Eli mehän ollaan niin kuin osa rakennusteollisuuden sitä laatuketjua. Ja just nyt suhdanne näyttää vähän heikolta, eli on, on nämä korkotaso noussut, kustannusinflaatio ihan valtava. Ukrainan sota, koronasta on just ehkä selvitty, voisi sanoa. Ähm. Meidän valttikortti, mä ajattelisin, on niin kuin, me ollaan pitkäjänteinen toimija. Me ollaan levittäydytty, nyt voisi sanoa melkein maapallon joka kolkkaan. Meillä on nytkin työn alla yksi erikoiskohde. Tuonne latinalaisen Amerikkaan siinä on hyvin erikoisia tuotteita. Me räätälöidään asiakkaalle. Meillä on siis ihan niin massa standardituotantoa pääosin, mutta me kyetään myös tämmöiseen niin asiakaskohtaiseen räätälöintiin. Ja mä ajattelisin, että se on niin se, le- leimet toimittaa kaikkialle maailmaan paalutarvikkeita, jos niitä asukas, asiakas haluaa. Kempi on ollut yhteistyökumppanina ihan Leimetin alkuvaiheesta asti. Tuossa just tarkistettiin tänään, että vuonna 1988 ilmeisesti yhtiön on tullut ensimmäinen hitsausrobotti. Ja siinä on ollut Kempin hitsauskone. Ja siinä on sitten arkea taitettu matkaa niin vuosi vuodelta. Ja tämä on aika pomppusta välillä, eli koneet hajoilee, niitä korjata Asiakkaat haluaa tavaraa lähinnä eilen. Joten semmoinen niin toimivat vehkeet ja niin hyvä Huolta ja tämmöinen after homma niin se on niin ihan kaiken A ja O. Mä näkisin, että Kemppi on vaikuttanut Leimetin menestykseen ennen kaikkea sillä, että me ollaan aika kriittisiä, kun me hommataan niin uusia koneita, robottisoluja esimerkiksi. Ja me halutaan järjestelmätoimittajalta ja myös hitsauslaitetoimittajalta, että he sietää tämmöistä niin jopa vahvaakin kritiikkiä, koska silloin kun me lähdetään jonkun koneen kanssa liikkeelle, se on 10-20 000 meillä täällä käytössä, me halutaan niin hiota se ihan viimeisen päälle, se prosessi toimimaan. Eli me vaaditaan aika paljon. Ja me nähdään, että te olette myös niin vastanneet siihen huutoon, eli olette sietäneet meidän kriittisyyttämme. Tulevaisuuden näkymistä Kempin kanssa sanoisin, että Leimitillä on ajatus, että jos mahdollista, niin nykyistä huomattavasti enemmän jonain päivänä koottaisiin, niin tehtäisiin tu- tuotantoa, tuotetta koottaisi jossakin kaukana Leimitistä, eli lähempänä markkinoita. Ja tällöin tulisi tietysti kysymykseen se, että esimerkiksi hitsataan siellä paikallisesti. Ja koska ne hitsaussaumat on tietyn paikoin niin ihan kriittiset tuotteen toimivuuden kannalta, me haluttaisiin tietää, että miten se hitsauslaatu siellä kehittyy. Koska se ei ole niin kuin tässä nyt on, että ihan toimiston seinän takana on tuotanto ja yhtäkkiä se onkin niin x tuhannen kilometrin päässä. Niin haluttaisiin nähdä etänä, että miten siellä tuotanto pyörii ja miten, miten niin saumat syntyy. No meillä on hitsattavin materiaalin on lähinnä, lähinnä mustaa rautaa ja sitten on ns erikoisempana materiaalina on harjateräs ja sitten siinä, jos me ajatellaan mitä haasteita meidän hitsaustuotannossa on, niin se tulee sitten lähinnä siinä, että tämä harjateräs liitetään mustaa rautaa väittäis, väittäisliitoksella ja siitä täytyy saada sitten tämmöinen kestävä, kestävä hitsi siten, ettei sitten kuitenkaan vaikuteta liiaksi tämä harjateräksen ominaisuuksiin. No meillä on oikeastaan kaikki hitsaus tapahtuu robotisoidusti ja meillä on tota hyvinkin tärkeää, että hitsauslaitteisto on luotettava, toimii kaikin puolin hyvin ja helppo huolettavuus, tietenkin avainasemassa. No meillä tosiaan toi AX integroitiin tuossa hetki sitten ja se sujuu hyvinkin, hyvinkin jouhevasti. Että se oli semmonen 2-3 tuntia, niin sitten oli, sit oli koneet paikallaan ja saatiin jo ensimmäiset, ensimmäiset testihitsit tehtyä. Niin Tämä uusi käyttöliittymä oli semmoinen mielenkiintoinen uutuus, että saatiin, saatiin siitä 
kone, koneen kyljestä niin sanotusti mukaan. Eli pystyttiin, pystyttiin seuraamaan reaaleja ja sitsaustapahtumaa aivan toisaalta, missä itse itsauskone oli. Ja sitten tosiaan toi käyttöliittymän opastus, sanotaan tuommoinen puoli tuntia, katsottiin sitä yhdessä ja uskaltaisin väittää, että osaan sitä käyttää nyt. No nämä ensimmäiset hitsautut kappaleet, kun tehtiin tuossa ja säädettiin parametrit kohdille, oikeastaan vanho, vanhojen, vanhan mallin mukaan, niin niistä tuli, tuli kyllä erittäin hyvän näköiset. Ja Kemppi on ollut meidän luotettava kumppani, tulee olemaan sitä jatkossakin just kenttätason tuki, mitä se on saatu ja toivottavasti tullaan saamaankin, niin on se, on se iso kulmakivi tälle. Ja sitten tosiaan tietenkin laitteet itsessään, koska ne on luotettavia työjuhtia, niin niiden kanssa on ilo jatkaa. Niin. Thank you, Jaskava and Leimet, for sharing your views and thoughts with us. It's much appreciated and I'm sure that the audience found this interesting as well. These products will be available in May through Kempis distribution channels. We are closing the end of the show today, but before you go, please take a minute to answer just a few easy feedback questions on this event. You can find them below this video screen on the event platform. We would appreciate receiving your feedback to help us develop and make our events even better. Thank you all for participating. If you want to get more information and details, check our website or contact your Kempi representative. Thank you and goodbye. See you next time.